Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to make an original character. I'm going to share how I made customized character on little figures. Let's start! This is the description of how the doll will look like. I'm excited how it will turn out. When someone is asking for commission, I would ask for specified descriptions and some picture reference. Especially when I am copying a cheapy version of a person or a specific character. This is actually a 7th order commission by Mr. PJ Orale. Shout out to you, man. He also made polymer clay accessories and charms. I asked him to send some of his works for this video. He made these little cute cupcake charms and this adorable charm slices of cake. If you have some cravings for his work, just send me a message and I will direct him to you. After I make a Japanese school skirt, based on my reference, I'll be needing a short skirt. I'm cutting enough length for the waist. And dropping it up on the body. And thank you guys for watching my succulent plant box. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it down below. For the blouse, I will use color peach. And did some texturing like a texture of a sweater. This cut will serve as a bottom part of the blouse. This inspired succulent plant box is made by Eisner Ray. He's also making Ichibi doll videos, you can subscribe in his channel. On the bottom part of the blouse, I added some lines. For the tools, it doesn't have to be very specific. Any kind of straight tool would do. I apply it only on the front of the body because she's wearing a corporate uniform. And this blouse will serve as an inside cloth. Make a v-neck for the collar. This picture shown is made by Camille Fate. I flattened some white clay. Out of it, I created a triangle. I attach it to the figure gently. After touching, I apply some design according to my reference. Apply V shape beam. For the color, I added two ball on the top. This one is made by Irene Roa. Thank you for making this. I hope na alis yung stress. Then I flatten the ball that I made. For the ribbon, I flatten a ball of black clay. Cut it straight. I made two thin lines. Make a B shape and apply it to the bottom part. This one is made by Tiny Creature. For the ribbon part, I connect two ends and create a circle. Push it to the middle and it's officially a ribbon. 
For the tool, I'm using the smallest ball tool. For corporate uniform, I flatten black clay. I slice it in half. Between two slices, make a V-shape. I apply it side by side of the front of the figure. Cut the excess. It's the same technique of how you can make a sweater. For the color, I made a ball of clay. I shape it in a teardrop and flatten. I cut it in the middle and apply some white paint on ends. This one is a second drive by Grace Balderrama Azor. Thank you very much. In rectangle shape, slice it into half and you can make a mini pocket. This one is made by Creative Ella. I made this two teardrop shape form, which serve as the arms of the figure, and connect some little hands. I flatten the clay and make two lines out of it. It will serve as the design of the arms. Now I'm going to make a boots. I roll a ball of clay in a straight line and pinch both end parts. I added some sole in shoes. Split it in half and make sure that it's even. Connect it to the figure, I added some socks by the way. I added also some accessories. And we are done with the body. Based on my reference, her hair is long and curly with a vibrant color of apple green. I'm going to use epoxy clay for the base. Epoxy is kind of saggy so I added some cornstarch to it. This will harden solid as rock. It will air harden for at least 4 hours. I'm using my own molder by the way. This one is ready made base molder. I added some paint colors and I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something from this video.